our goal of 1,000 subscribers before February 20th so that I can qualify for YouTube's new partner program thresholds. So go ahead and click that subscriber button right now and while you're at it go ahead and follow me on all my social medias Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. For today's video we're gonna do this really fun kooky um, science experiment kind of video. So basically what I heard is that breast milk causes pregnancy tests to turn positive. It doesn't matter if you're pregnant or not and since I am currently nursing I really wanted to try this theory out and I don't know how much longer Zuko is going to nurse um, there's not really like a beginning there's not really like an end date like I have in mind it's just kind of um, I believe more like self weaning so I figured I would take advantage of the time that I do have breast milk currently available to me to go ahead and test this theory out so I do have kind of a control because as far as I know I am not currently pregnant I'm like 99.9% .9 confident that I am not pregnant so I do have a sample of uh, urine it's not first morning urine it's just urine that I just took but I do have my breast milk here freshly hand expressed. There's not a lot of it here, mostly because of waste not, right? It's like liquid gold right here. But also because I tried to express them out earlier and I ended up spilling all of it. I decided to express a little bit more and I figured we wouldn't really need more than what I have in this dish here so I'm gonna go ahead and start I have a few as you can see a few a couple different brands of pregnancy tests in front of me these are not like super expensive pregnancy tests I went with like the cheapy ones just because this is like an, like a science experiment and I didn't want to like spend a bunch of money on something that may or may not work but as far as I know, these are still, you know, they still work just fine and that they're still pretty sensitive to the HCG hormone or whatever. But I did get a couple different brands. So I think I'm going to try two tests for each sample. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this Assured brand of pregnancy test. It looks like it comes with um, a dropper. I don't know if you can see that. And it says you can compare it to early result. So just kind of like the off-brand early results. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And as you can see, so it's like in the package. I've not tampered with the with these at all. Go ahead and open that up right now. Okay. So I guess so I guess I might as well just do them at the same time, right? Like might as well. So again, not tampered with at all. Go ahead and open this up. All right, so I guess we'll start with the urine and then we'll move on to the breast milk. And like I said before, I'm like 99.9% .9 confident that I am not pregnant. So that would be an interesting way to find out, wouldn't it? Like right here on camera. Okay, so we have my sample for this one. How many drops am I supposed to do? Hold on. Okay. Okay, three drops. It says it needs three drops for the sample. And it takes about three minutes. All right, so I'm gonna do one, two, three. And then we'll go ahead and do our breast milk sample. Oh yeah, this is plenty. This is more than I need. We'll do one, two, and three for that one. Okay, so now starts the three minute wait. All right, getting like antsy. I'm like, I don't know why, but I'm like nervous for some reason, I don't know why. All right, so it's trailing across. So the breast milk one is still trying to creep along. You can see there the urine one went straight across. And 
as far as we can tell, no positive yet. It's only been about 30 seconds. So I don't know, maybe I should add a little bit more breast milk to this one. Cause this one just seems to be like taking its time. Maybe cause it's like thicker. I don't know if I should like add in another drop or what? But it looks like so far that the urine one is pretty negative, pretty stark white. Which is a good thing because I wasn't quite ready to <laughs> find out that I was pregnant today. <laughs> okay, the three minutes are about up and this is looking pretty negative to me. This is the urine sample. I really don't think you can get a bigger negative than that. I don't think I can even like close up on it. That's about as it's about as clear as we're gonna get it. And I really think that this is just stark white negative. Not even a hint of a line or an evap or anything like that. This is the urine sample. It took quite a long time for the breast milk to like go across the line. So the test, the control line isn't as dark as the urine one, but this one also looks pretty negative to me. I don't really think I see anything in there. I don't know if it's like fuzzy, if it's like focusing very well, but um, yeah, so far we're debunking this theory because I don't see, I don't see a positive in this at all. I don't know if I can like change the light a little bit. Yeah, it's that's about that's about as negative as you can get. So round one debunked. Let's go ahead and open our second round of tests. So it looks like these ones are also dropper tests, which is good because it makes it easier. And two tests. So we've got these little tests right here. And go ahead and get our breast milk sample. Drop that in. Oh, it's upside down. And drop that in. Oops. One, two, three. Okay. Oh yeah, see that one zoomed across too. It like doesn't even give me time to film it. So we can tell already that that one looking pretty negative already. This one's still working its way over. Slowly creeping along. Immediately that control line is dark. Okay, three minutes is up, so let's go ahead and check our answers. All right, so looking at this, yeah, I'm not seeing any sort of positive. You're looking like really close there. Still not seeing really any positive at all. That's like stark white. Really, really, really negative. And the breast milk one, it's, I feel like this one takes longer. Like you can see like this one is like white. It's like done. But this one's still pink. It's still like, it's like still trying to think about it. If we go over here to our other samples, these are still, yeah, so this one, still negative, still negative. All right, so there you have it, folks. This theory is officially debunked. I've got negative results on all four tests. If you've done this or if you've tried this while not being pregnant, let me know. Or if you've tried this while being pregnant, I'd also like to know if it also works, if you can get a positive test through breast milk. I've also heard that you can get a positive test off of breast milk before you can get a positive test off of urine. So if you guys have ever tried that or tested it out, let me know because I'd really, I'd really love to hear, you know, what your results were and what you guys thought. As far as this experiment goes, I am not pregnant and it obviously shows through all four of these tests. So just another reminder to hit that subscribe button. We can do this. We are only like 150 subscribers away from getting to this goal. So please, 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 please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye guys.